So hello everybody, this Friday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every Friday. Now, in today's Tax Fridays, I'm going to show you a, an oddity or rarity of the tax language, and it goes like this. You can, instead of putting last date or mean date or max date to get the maximum date or the minimum date of a table, you can actually write blank which is super weird. In some cases, for some functions, not doesn't work everywhere. And just because I'm showing sure you this, it doesn't mean that you should do it. I would actually recommend you not to, but the reason why I'm showing you is because if somebody does, you know what it is, okay? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, guys, so let me show you. This is wild. I'm going to use a new table because the functions where it works return table, so you can actually see what's going on. So... Here's the thing, if I have, for example, date between, dates between, okay? So dates between goes like it says there, it says first you have to have a date um, column, and then you have a start date and an end date, and it will return a table between those dates that you specify. So we have our calendar, so we put calendar date as our field date, and then for the start date, you normally write, if you want to have the entire table, you will write, min of calendar date, max calendar date. You don't have to watch this, it's wild. If I write blank and blank, watch this happen. So the first blank is the start date. So it's going to get, every time it's a start date, it's going to get the earliest on the table and when it is end date is going to get the latest on the table so this is the entire calendar table basically and i didn't have to write anything else than black black now as you can see from a user friendliness perspective this is not the best so i wouldn't recommend you to use it because it, i i bet that 90 percent of taxers do not know this which basically means they will be highly confused as why is blank in there. But if you see it, now you know, <laughs> basically. It works with some of them. What I found, you know, I, as soon as I discovered it, like, what on earth? <laughs> I have to check more. The team period goes, like calendar date and the start date is going to be a blank. Number of intervals, let's say one and then day, or let's say three days then. Three days, right? So this is going to give us a calendar table with three days and because I put blank here and it's a start date, it's going to get the minimum. So the mean date. I can actually change this. You see, this is 4th of July to 6th of July, 1996. If I write mean, which is what you normally would see, calendar date, right? Or you can write first date. There, there's a lot of ways to get the first thing of a table. But, but you can actually, you can have black, which it was mind-blowing to me, actually. It's not so intuitive. Ah, cool. Now, I, I had to spend some time on this because I was like, where does it work? Where does it, doesn't it work? For example, if I use calendar auto, and it has a start date and an end date, so I thought, like, mm, maybe it works. So I put blank, and then I put blank there. It doesn't. And when, you know, going into the documentation, you can see that the start date is a date time. It's not date and blank. It apparently just returns date. So <laughs> this is not going to give us anything. So I played around with a lot of functions. This is what I found. You have to have a start date, end date, and then it has to be date field type instead of date time. And that's when you can put blank instead of mean or max or last date, first date type of thing. So yeah, don't use it, please don't use it. But if you see it somewhere, you know <laughs> what it is. So blank is quite a versatile function. If you want to know more about it, I have here a video where I explain this blank, no, list empty, all that stuff. So you learn a little bit more about that useful and versatile function. I will see you again on Monday with another Power BI video of some sort. So 
Until then, take care, enjoy your weekend, and bye-bye.